Hey guys, I'm a developer evangelist working for Yodely Interactive. So in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through the test drive tool which Yodely Interactive provides to test and evaluate their APIs. This test drive tool is very informative, it's an easy to use tool, and it would be very helpful for you to learn how Yodely API works and what data you will receive in the response of those API calls. First, I'll ask you to go to developer.yodely.com and register. Once you register, you can use the same login over here. I'm using my test credentials, which I registered myself clicking on login. Once I log in successfully, I will receive this page where the tab name is developer info. This developer info page contains all the relevant information which will be required to integrate my application with Yodely. So there is your co-brand username, the password, and the rest URL, and when you scroll down you will see five pre-test registered users. You can use any one of them to test the Yodely APIs. Now I'll go back. You need to click on the test drive link, which is present under the resource menu. Once you click on that, you will receive this page. Here you need to provide your co-brand credentials, which are available over at the developer info tab. So I'm using the same to log into the test drive tool and I've copied my username. Now I am copying my password and clicking on log in. By default it will populate your REST URL so no need to worry about it. Now it logged me into test drive tool but it is asking for a username and the password on the right hand side so remember first you need to create a co-brand session. A co-brand would be your application or the solution that you are going to build. Then you need to create a user session to test the APIs. I'm going to use one of the five pre-test registered users which are available over here. I copied the username, I've copied the password, and click on login. So now here you can see I am able to create a user session. This is my co-brand session token and this is my user session token. Now on the left hand side you can see the different menus which list down the different APIs which Yodely provides. One says core services, one says site based, then container based, and the flows. So core services are the APIs which are common irrespective of which approach you'll use, whether you use site based approach or container based approach. And the flows it's a sequence of different APIs which will be called when you click on or go for a particular flow. So now you'll be thinking what is site-based or container-based? So to explain to you site-based approach it's when you want for example to link a Citibank website and then you want to add a credit card account, savings account, checking account, loan, mortgage, all those accounts. If you want to link a single site you need to go for site-based approach. Well, in case if you just want to add your Citibank credit card account or you just want to add your Citibank checking account, then in that case you need to get, use the container-based approach. So this contains the list of different APIs which you would need if you go for container-based approach. This contains the site-based approach APIs and this flows menu contains different flows and you can choose any one of them to see in what sequence different APIs are being called and how they're providing a response. So for now what I'll do, I will use the core services API. Transactions under that I will be using the execute user search request. This API will be used to get the transactions for the accounts or the different accounts aggregated under a particular user. So to quickly explain to you the co-brand session token and the user session token, these values will be pre-populated with the tokens generated for your current session. Now all the rest of the fields are again pre-populated, but you need to modify them as per your requirement. So for now I'm just leaving those as is and just changing the from date and to date for now. So I'll keep the from date as January 1st, 2013 to the 31st of January 2014 to see what transactions I will receive. In this particular field which provides transactions for a particular account so for now I'm removing that as this is not a mandatory field. So I'm just clicking on send data. 
On the right hand side, you can see in the response, I received a response for this particular API call. And it says the number of hits is 168, which means for this particular duration, it returned 168 transactions. And this contains a transaction response for this particular API call. So just quickly go through this transaction response, this API response. Here you can see it contains a description. A description says shell oil. Apart from that, you can go down and see a post date. This field contains the value when the transaction got posted. Now there is an amount field that tells you what the amount for the transaction is and what the currency code is. So the status is posted for this particular transaction. And here you can see the account to which this particular transaction belongs to. And here it says the account name and the different details about that particular account. Here you can see the account number is also available and the account balance. So this is a basic tutorial and how you can use this test drive tool. It's a really helpful tool. And if you want to see how different APIs work, I suggest you just give this uh, tool a test drive and uh, check it all out. That's it. Hope this helps. If not, please contact our support team and we're happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks.